Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Well today I wanted to show you about this yucca that I found behind the building where we work. We uh, went behind there to set out some materials for some technicians that were going to come pick them up after hours and we found this couple of yucca plants back there that looked like they'd been neglected. They were they were old and they were partially covered with leaves and they weren't looking too healthy. They were kind of dried up. So uh, I told the guy that I was with, one of my co-workers, I said, you know, that makes some good cordage, those yucca plants. So I cut a few leaves off and uh, stripped one of the leaves out, stripped the fibers out and showed them how to reverse wrap some cordage. So I thought I'd use that today, but I did want to show you these leaves were kind of dried up and kind of turning brown and two days ago, this is when I actually cut them, I stuck them in the water and look at how they came back to life with a drink of water and being in the warm house. So um, I'm not going to show you how to strip the fibers out of a yucca leaf because I believe I've got three videos on it already. But let me just let me just do the end right here and just expose some of the fibers and show you what that looks like. I'll be using this light my fire spork this time. Usually you see me using a tablespoon, but this uh this does a good job. I notice on some videos they show taking a rock and just crushing down on the fibers. You know, I, you, that might make it easier because there's like this thick ridge right in the center of the leaf down to about right here. So if I was going to crush it, I'd crush just this center thick part right here. But this other part that's thin, it doesn't need it. And here's the pulp that we're getting rid of. And it does a good job exposing those fibers. Those are some tough fibers. I like making cordage out of yucca and uh, other weeds that have tough fibers in it. Oh, one of my co-workers said that he had some milkweed at the house that was dried up. I, I asked him to bring me some of it because I haven't had a chance to work with milkweed yet. Alright, so here's the cordage that I made up and showed him how to reverse wrap it which they had never seen it up close before. Let's go ahead and take and use this cordage for and make a bow drill ember. And we'll use last week's little set that we made. That piece of river birch branch that I got uh, down by the creek and it was so wet and we used all those drying cycles and we was able to force an ember out of it. Well, it, this has sat in the house for a week. so. Let's take and use this very short cordage and my handheld bowstring bow, like I've shown you many times before, and see if we can get another ember out of that. That would be cool. And then after that, let's go ahead and unravel this entire cord and we'll use it for the fire roll. Having to put a big fat toggle on both ends because I'm having to pull so hard. So. 
the tie knot right here. And stick it in here. I can get it open. Now, if my cordage doesn't break, we'll try that. Let's see what happens. We'll give it a try. Now I'm down to only about eight inches to work with. That's going to be about a five inch stroke if I use, if I'm able to use all of it. Let's see what happens. I'm going to tighten up on the bowstring. Tighten up. It's working. Well, I think it worked. Little old short yucca bowstring. Got close to the bottom too, didn't we? Little old tiny spindle. River birch. See if we can get the flames now. All right. Wow. I was starting to wonder there for a while. Now let's take this apart and get it prepared. Get it prepared for the fire roll. It felt a little soapy, so 
If I have any trouble with it at all, it might be because there's still some soapiness left in it. All right, some tips on the fire roll is going to be you want the strongest natural fibers that you can find. Although a cotton ball will work, dryer lint will not work because it's a bunch of particles just sort of stuck together and the cotton ball has is still has long fibers all woven together sort of. But uh man-made fiber if you take a Bic lighter and you stick it to it and it melts whether it's man-made or whether it's natural I mean wool if you stick a lighter to it it'll melt um, hair human hair if you stick a lighter to it it'll melt those won't work on the fire roll it has to be something that once you stick a lighter to it it embers up and then it needs to be a strong fiber like this and the most common mistake I see is people roll and roll and roll their fire roll and they get it right on the verge of ignition and they stop rolling or else they start tearing into it thinking they can get oxygen to the center and it'll ignite. You want to keep rolling a fire roll until you start to see smoke come out of it. Then you can tear into it or go for the flames, whatever you want to do. But if you have to go back to to rolling it five six seven times don't stop rolling it until you see some smoke coming out of it now a little bit of problem I'll have with this is the ashes will want to go want to just go all the way through it so I want to try to keep some ashes up in the center of it. And these are just regular wood ashes. Nothing special about them. No special wood. No special ashes. See, I can see that just filtering all the way through the fiber. So I have to try to do something to keep more of that ash in there. Let's roll it up and just see how much of it ends up on the bottom. Sometimes I'll take it and put some right back on top. Now, a lot of other fibers you don't have to do this with, but with coarse fibers a lot of times you'll lose most of your ashes. It'll just sift right through to the bottom. That almost did not ignite.
Love that yucca. Has some good stuff to work with. All right, y'all. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.